Hi guys. Um, I am using up some of the last beads that I hadn't gotten around to using in the uh, Soft Flex Under the Sea design kit. Um, I'm going to be making a necklace with some of these in a little bit and the uh, the dolphin guy. But while I was making some of these, and I, I was making a bunch of these just on my own, having some fun with it, um, I realized that these shell beads look a little bit like fins. And when I made this little fishy, um, I thought I need to record this so that I can share this with my friends. So I am going to do that today. Um, but real quick, before I get to making this little fish earring, let me show you the other things that I've made today. Um, I made an asymmetrical neck uh, bracelet using these crystal link beads. I made some links with some uh, 22 gauge craft wire. They're uh, wrapped wire wrapped links and ceramic beads and then I put this boho bead kind of in between the two sections and then I used these um, two color check glass rondelles with some spacers on the other side and then I just used the, uh, the turquoise color craft wire or uh, soft flex wire for the stringing and I just did a little loop on the end and attached the uh, button with a jump ring to this and it works really well um, it's a really fun little bracelet and I finished that today too and then I also made a couple of earrings and I used a technique that is um, pretty popular and it's one of my favorite ways to uh, to make earrings where you have uh, like a link basically with a loop at the bottom a loop at the top and you have some beads in between and then you just have a dangle on the end of that bottom loop. And I used, again, that 22 gauge craft wire in order to do those. Um, and I made this one with the starfish and these heart uh, beads inside the frames. And then I made another pair with these dark, like navy blue bicones. Um, one of these metal beads and another little starfish. And I'm not going to show the technique on this because um, I've done this before. That a bunch of my um, my earrings every day shorts feature this type of, of earring. And also the earrings that I made um, when I first opened up this kit and, and started playing with it. And I'll link those vid uh, that video and my shorts playlist in the description so you can see that. But... Um, I've already done that and so I don't want to take too long and have like a really really long video with this I just wanted a real quick video to show you how to make a little fishy with these uh, these shell beads and uh, a couple of the other beads that were in the soft flex kit Now I'm using this like English cut it's a pretty large bead that's gonna be our head and then this um, it's like a, a bellflower bead it's a pressed glass bead and it's kind of clear and it's going to be just here above this uh, bottom fin. Is that tail fin? I don't know. I just thought it, it added something to it. So let me move that out of the way. And I've got about eight, you can do eight to nine inches of the craft wire or sorry of the, the soft flex. This is medium beading wire. And I'm using the turquoise color because I like it and it goes with everything. And so I'm just going to take that and I'm going to string one of my beads onto my craft wire, one of my shell beads. I'm going to call them fin beads now for the rest of this video because that's what they're becoming. They are turning into fins. So I'm going to find the middle of my craft, or my, uh, not craft wire, my beading wire. Find the middle of my beading wire and just kind of hold that onto there. And then I'm going to string both ends of my beading wire through this bellflower. And we're going to go from the wide part up to the, the narrow part so that it's uh, kind of the bell part is over my, my tail fins. And I know these will fit because they fit in the other one. There we go. And I'm just going to snug this up right there at the bottom 
like that. And then I'm going to grab another one of my thin beads and I'm going to put it on one of my craft wires or not craft wires. Why do I keep saying craft wires? It's been that kind of day, guys. I have never had a more Monday, Tuesday than today. So <laughs> this is this is my therapy for after uh, dealing with with all of that. And then I'm going to put the other fin on the other beading wire, not craft wire. All right. And I'm not going to pull this super tight because I want them to have a little bit of play on there. But I am going to take both of these wires again together and bead them through my large English cut bead. And that makes my little guy. All right, now to make a little loop at the top to attach my ear wire to. There we go. I'm going to grab a uh, two millimeter crimp tube. And I am going to be using these two millimeter crimp tubes. They're the soft flex crimps that came in the kit and a magical crimper to make my little crimp. I've got my little ear wire there. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a really great Tuesday. Ah, oh, boy. This is, this is, this is, this is my beating therapy. Come on, friends. Why are you all turned around like that? I'm just trying to get my wires right and again I don't want it too tight because it'll get funky but I do want that stuff in the way all right so now I'm going to slide both ends of my beading wire through the crimp bead Get that crimp bead down near the near not into the mouth of our little fishy and I'm going to take one of the wires and I'm going to pass it back through and into the crimp bead. And it's going to go all the way through that bead if it is long enough. Okay, and I'm going to pull down on this to tighten it. Let me pull this guy over here so that I can make sure that my loop is going to be about the same size. Okay, then I'm going to go and crimp just right here, right now. I'm going to have myself a little fishy earrings. All right, yeah, because I was just playing around with these beads, seeing what fun I could have with them, see what other things I could do. Sometimes you don't get around to beading much as you want to. Let me get my excess out of the way. I have a little um, container that I put my excess craft wire like this in. It's really useful to have like little bits for you could make a jump ring with it. If you had that and a crypt tube, you can use them when you have some wire and you're doing like floating necklaces so that you've got a little bit of extra wire for the crimp to hold on to when you're doing that. So it's good to save those. I am just opening up the loop. No, I am not opening up the loop. Now I'm opening up the loop on this ear wire to slide my fishy onto like it's on a hook. And there we go. We've got our little, little fishies. 
beautiful fishies. Anyway, thank you for hanging out with me today. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.